Hello, welcome to this brief video on um, preparing and delivering a book talk. This is designed for students in SEDE 4312, teaching English in the secondary school. So let's talk about some basics for delivering a book talk. Book talks are something that you want to do often in your classroom. Um, this is why we're practicing it for class. They are a surefire way to get your kids interested in the books that you're sharing. Anytime that you deliver a book talk um, effectively in your classroom, you're going to automatically have students who want to read that book. So this is something that you want to do often with your kids. It's also a great way to model for them what you're going to eventually have them do because as students get into that habit of reading, we want them to be delivering book talks to the class and to their friends as well. So when we think about book talks, you need to remember that a book talk, it's not designed to be a book review, nor is it designed to be a book report. Instead, a book talk is simply a way to sell the book to your listeners, to convince your audience that they should read this book. So it's not a full-blown review, it's not a book report. You wanna have fun with these. So some basic guidelines. You want to do your own thing. Create your own individual style for book talks. Everybody has their own way of doing it, um, but one of the key things that you want to remember is that you have to be enthusiastic about the book, right? That is going to help you sell your own book, but your style is going to look different from my style or from your um, colleague's style. Another important thing to remember is um, make sure that when you deliver a book talk, it's with a book that you have read. You don't ever want to do a book talk with a book that you haven't read. Um, you're sure to get tripped up and there's going to be some information you share that may not actually be correct information. So make sure that you've read the book. Another important thing to remember with book talks is don't tell the ending. If you tell the ending, what's the point of the listeners or your audience going and reading the book? You've already blown it. Okay, so don't tell the ending. Don't be a spoiler. You can give lots of hints and build excitement, but don't give away the ending. Um, another important thing to remember is don't talk a book that you don't like or that you're uncomfortable with. If you, if you do that, think, think I can equate it to going and buying a car. If you go and the car salesman tries to sell you a car that he doesn't like or that he's uncomfortable with, maybe for some safety reason, chances are you're not going to buy that car. The same thing's true when you do a book talk. If you try to talk about a book that you didn't like, Kids and your audience, they're going to be able to detect that and they're going to not choose to read it. So make sure it's a book that you like and are comfortable with. Show the book in a book talk. Hold it up. If you're delivering a book talk virtually like we're doing for this assignment on VoiceThread, then make sure you put an image of that book on the screen. Show the book. Okay? It'll also help you when you're delivering a book talk if you hold the book in your hands. One of the things that happens to me when I'm book talking is I often forget the characters' names or I forget the name of the town. Um, and so I'm always finding myself looking at the back of the book. Sometimes I even put a sticky note on the back of the book with just some general notes for me. Okay, So make sure that you show the book. Kids and your audience want to see the actual book. Another guideline is you want to make sure that you practice, practice, practice that book talk. Okay, Book talk it to your roommate. Book talk it to your boyfriend, to your girlfriend, to your wife, to your husband, to your kids. Practice as much as you can, especially since the one that you're submitting for this class you're doing virtually. Practice it so that you feel comfortable when you get ready to deliver it. So let's talk about uh, the assignment in general. I'm going to change the screen for just a minute. So when you, well, uh, for this class, the way you're going to submit your assignment is you're going to go to a website called voicethread.com. You can see that up here, the voicethread, that's the home. Here, uh, let me expand the screen a little bit. Let's see. You can look, um, 
you can look right here in the URL window. It's voicethread.com. So this is, um, that, that's how you're going to go record it. It's a free website. It allows you to upload images. So you can tell for this book talk that I did of Skeleton Creek, I've uploaded several images. Here's an image of the book cover. I just went online um, and captured an image of the book cover, saved it as a picture on my computer, and then used that. Here is, um, this image is of a website that is affiliated with my book. Um, I took a screenshot of it, uploaded it into VoiceThread, and then here is um, a picture that I took of one of the inside pages of my book um, that has passwords. Um, each, each of these passwords you use on the website. So those are the three images I uploaded for my particular book talk. Um, and then as you're recording your book talk, you um, can flip through the images in your voice thread. When you do your assignment, I want you to make sure, when you record your voice thread, I want you to make sure that you um, select the option in voice thread that allows you um, to see the image of you book talking. So you'll need to use your webcam as well as the images that you've uploaded to voice thread. Okay, so that way when people watch your book talk, um, they'll be able to not only hear your voice, but they'll be able to see your face in the recording. That's For me, that's really important because your facial expressions say a lot about your feelings about the book. Okay, So that's how you're going to create your book talk on VoiceThread. You can sign up for a free account. Once you've recorded it, you're going to want to copy and paste the link to your VoiceThread. And what you're going to do when you're ready for that is you're going to go back onto Blackboard. And if you'll notice on the discussion board, I've created a discussion board that says Book Talk Links. This is where you're going to copy and paste the link to your book talk. So you can see, I'm going to move my video right there. Here's the discussion board. I've gone ahead and I've, I have posted a link to my um to my book talk video. So I created a thread and I copied and pasted a link to my voice thread on Skeleton Creek right here. Okay, that's where every, everybody's going to create their own thread and they're going to post their link to their voice thread right there. Once you've posted your link to your voice thread, take some time and go in and uh, click on other people's threads use the links that they've provided to their voice threads, go to voice thread and watch their book talks. Okay. So for any commenting on people's book talks, what I want you to do is use the, I want you to comment about their book talk directly in their voice thread. To do that, when you come down to the bottom of the image, you see this little plus sign right here. You're going to click on that. It allows you to click on the ABC if you want to type a text comment. If you want to provide an audio comment, you click on the microphone. If you want to record a video comment, you click on the little video camera. Okay, so that's the, that is the method that I would like for you guys to use to respond to each other's book talks. Don't respond in the discussion board. Instead, respond directly on their voice thread. If you want to practice that a little bit, you can practice it using my Skeleton Creek book talk. I'll post a second link for another book talk set that I have in just a minute. So there will be two there for you to practice with. Please feel free to email me or call me if you have any questions. Enjoy reading your books and preparing your book talks. Thanks, you guys.